Just a quick overview of the Silver Alert system. Silver Alerts are a special type of notification issued for a missing elderly person over 65 years of age who may have dementia or another cognitive issue that puts them in danger. A Silver Alert could also be issued for an individual of any age who is cognitively or developmentally impaired. The goal of the Silver Alert is to use the eyes and ears of the public to help law enforcement search for and safely recover an individual who is in immediate danger. These alerts are broadcast through radio, television, road signs, cell phones, and other data-enabled devices. In some locations, the Silver Alert is issued for a missing child if they do not fit the criteria for an Amber Alert. The Silver Alert system is used throughout the United States and Canada and some European countries. Many countries around the world have not yet adopted this alert system and was unable to source what other specific countries it is used in, so please check with your local authorities to see if this alert system is used in that area. Each state, province, and country that have adapted this system may have it modified slightly to fit their own needs and requirements, but the goal remains the same. The following are the general government code criteria for a silver alert in North America. Some variations may apply in your particular area, so please check with your local law enforcement for more detailed information. For other countries, please check with law enforcement in that country. The missing person is 65 years of age or older, developmentally disabled or cognitively impaired. The investigating law enforcement agency has utilized all available local resources. The law enforcement agency determines the person has gone missing under unexplained or suspicious circumstances. The law enforcement agency determines the person is in danger because of age, health, mental or physical disability, environmental or weather conditions, or the person is in the company of a potentially dangerous person or other factors indicating that the person may be in peril. Any individual that is developmentally disabled or cognitively impaired, regardless of his or her age. Once law enforcement has been notified about a missing person, they will decide whether or not to issue a silver alert based on their silver alert program's criteria. Once issued, the alerts are distributed by broadcasters and transportation agencies. They are also sent to a network of secondary distributors that includes internet service providers, digital billboards, truckers, and others. Silver Alert broadcasts have a unique audible signal and vibration. It is intended to indicate the urgency of the message and make the alert accessible to all people, including the visually or hearing impaired. This message will contain a number of limited characters. In the case of a Silver Alert broadcast, the message would indicate that a Silver Alert has been issued for the area and relevant information about the missing individual and, if possible, the vehicle that was used in the disappearance. The alerts are sent on a special wireless carrier called the Cell Broadcast, and they are not affected by the congestion of the voice or SMS text channels. The alerts are transmitted simultaneously to all mobile devices within range of the cellular carrier towers in the affected area. The system does not need to know your mobile number and it does not track your whereabouts. It simply broadcasts the alert and any mobile devices that can hear the alert will display it to the user. Wireless customers will not be charged for the receipt of these messages. If a customer wirelessly wants to opt out of receiving these alerts, the wireless customers should contact their individual wireless service providers. If you receive a silver alert message in your area, you can consult local media or internet for more in-depth details about the silver alert. If you locate a matching description, you are advised to call 911 or the emergency number for the country you are in the, with the location so the authorities can take the next steps necessary. People with dementia can wander away from home and might not be aware of their surroundings. A developmental disabled disability, as defined in Subdivision A of Section 4512 of the Welfare and Institutions Code, and a cognitively impaired means affected by cognitive impairment, as defined in Section 1452.4 WNI. Please contact your local authorities for further information. Supporters of the Silver Alert point to the USA's 
growing elderly population as a reason to support new programs in locating missing seniors. Approximately 6 in 10 dementia victims will wander off at least once, if not found within 24 hours, up to half of wandering seniors with dementia suffer serious injury or death. The Silver Alert was started with the intention to have an Amber Alert for seniors in December of 2005 by Fred Perry in Oklahoma. In Georgia, it is referred to Maddie's Call due to Maddie Moore, a 68-year-old woman from Atlanta with Alzheimer's disease. She was found 500 yards, 460 meters from her home, eight months after she went missing. In February of 2008, a Florida woman, 86-year-old Mary Zelter, drove away from her assistant living residence and never returned. Her body was found a week later, 10 miles, approximately 16 kilometers away, underwater. This grew the silver alert into the statewide initiative, and since then, other states and countries have adopted it. Safe travels, everyone, and let's work together to keep loved ones together. Enjoy your day.